Welcome back. This is still Tea Time with Plus TV Africa and on Plus TV Africa. And of course, I'm still with my girl, Ife Omai. What's good? How's it going? Yes. Yeah, so, man, there's this segment we're going into now. Mm -hmm. I hope you're ready to laugh. Well, we put this together, we, but they, they, they're evergreen, right? Yes, they're still yeah. going to I'm be funny. To so, yeah. So, so, I hope you guys are ready to laugh at home. And this segment is called Funniest Video I Have Seen All Week. Enjoy. Hey, guys. What's up? This is what I call a moment prank. Now, this one is crazy. This guy is beside his sister and he has given me everything I need to know about his sister. So we have to prank her like we can see her right now. Mad. Mad. It's your girl. Hello? Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Hello? My name is Gideon from Sunrise CCTV. Good afternoon, um, Gideon. How, how can I help you, please? Okay, six months ago, we came to your house and we fixed three cameras in your house. One in your bedroom, yeah. one in your parlor, and one in your toilet. Right now, the problem is the one in your toilet is not really working. I don't know, it's like somebody touched it. Can you please go to your wait, toilet? Wait, 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 Mr. What, what, sorry, Mr. Gideon, right? I don't understand what, what are you saying? I said that we fixed three cameras in your house. There is a problem with one in the toilet. I guess it's faulty. Can you please go to the toilet for us? Wait, I don't know. Wait, wait, how? Wait, so, what are you saying now? Okay, madam, what I'm saying is I can see you right now and I want you to leave the couch. You are, with, you are sitting on your couch with your laptop. I want you to leave your couch and your laptop. Please go to your toilet to help us fix the I camera. Should go away. I should do what? Go to the toilet in your bedroom, please, and help us fix the camera there. I can Wait. see you right now. Wait, you, you know something? I'm, I'm very sure you're joking. Okay, so what am I wearing? You are wearing a red shirt and a blue jean. You are sitting with your laptop. Your bed sheet is blue and it has oh a butterfly it has a butterfly oh design on it. Now on your door, yeah, on your bedroom God. door, you have a towel that has a hole ah. on it and it is hanged on the door. Then your room yeah, color is great. white. Right now your it's fan is spinning. I can see we can see you right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wait, wait. So so now like this, you are watching me, you can see me. Madam, you are sitting on your couch, right? Are you sitting Please, on your couch? Hold on. Please, when did you do this? I don't know. What kind of nonsense is this? How is this possible? Okay, madam. How? Madam, are you sitting on your couch with your laptop? Yes, I... Wait, how can you see me? Who asked you to do this? Madam, your boyfriend... Your boyfriend asked us to come to your house six months ago to fix all these things. Who? Who is my boyfriend? Who? When? His name is Tony. Madam, 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 take it easy. We can see you. Take it easy. Take it easy. Um, madam, personally, you, me, I don't need to look at you when you are naked. I used to close my eyes, but I'm not even. What do you mean by that? I'm not sure if my other boys used to look at you, but I do not look at you, ma. <laughs> this has to be a joke. So it's not only you. Oh, it's madam, well, you. yes, yes, we are like thirty in the company. Hey. We are like thirty. Oh, is there a problem? Oh, is there a problem? Because I thought I thought your boyfriend told you. Oh my God! Oh God! Tony, Tony, what? What kind of boy? Okay. Oh Lord! Don't even. So wait. As I am like, what am I? So like, you can't see me. What am I for? Madam, madam, you're embarrassing yourself. I can't see you right now. Just take it easy. Oh, can you please go to the toilet? Me. Can you go to the toilet? We need to I'm fix the camera me. in the toilet. Oh, God. You are not in trouble. You are in your parlor. You are not in trouble. You are in you your parlor. You know what, Mr. Um, I mean, you say your name is Mr. Gideon. Mr. Gideon. Yeah. Gideon. Yes, ma'am. You know just, just tell me, show me where the camera is. Let me go and touch it for you. I have the camera in my house. Yes. Which, which do you, just, you mean the one in the toilet? Just tell me, tell me where you install the camera. Let me go and touch it for you. 
Okay, st stand up. Stand up from your parlor. Please stand up and go to your bedroom. Oh, I can't believe this. Ah. Please, madam, you're not standing yet. Oh, my God. We are. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 It's showing, ma. It's showing now. It's showing now. Hello? It's showing. No need, ma. No need, ma. I can't believe it. You can't see my toilet. Madam, no need. The camera is working now. It's working now, ma. No. No problem, it is working fine. No need, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Hello? Hello, see Mr. Gidjo, don't hang up. Hold on. You have to tell me where these cameras are. I have to know where these cameras are. Don't hang up. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what would you do if it was you? That cracked me. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, oh my goodness. Uh, he's so funny, that guy. He does a lot of this type yeah. of skits. Hey, I would not find it funny. Eh? <laughs> and the question that she asks is what is on everybody's mind? Like, wait, so when, when I'm, I'm naked, yeah. when I'm trying to take a shower, you see everything. Such crews. And I'm I'm sure it's possible that there might be some guy who's that creepy but usually they don't put it in the bathroom at least mm -hmm. they'll do it like some maybe decency, bedroom you know? front door or something mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. but man that was hilarious i hope you guys enjoyed that as much as we did yes but yes um enough of the laugh let's get back into the business which is you know spilling the tea on some of your biggest stars and you know you know some there's one very big personality out here that she's searching for husband and i think i'm you know husband <laughs> material 200 yards so what do you guys think i look good right oh my Gosh. Right? Right? I do, right? So don't ask me that kind of question. Why now? So I don't have to answer. Please, who's a celebrity? Anyway, Linda, KG has mm. taken to her social media and do to reveal that she is looking for a husband. Now, answer that question. I look good, right? Oh husband material, gosh. 200 yards. <laughs> it's a very interesting... <laughs> she said, even though I have everything, all she needs right now is a husband. So Some cuddles. If you think, come on, she has a, a Bentley. She has a, a, what's it called? A Range Rover 2020. She has a mansion in Banana Island, hmm. one of the most expensive areas in Lagos. And then, come on, man, us ban Look at me now. I'm single, searching. No girlfriend, nothing. Who? Hey. Who? Why? Even my girlfriend will say I should marry you. <laughs> oh my I'm goodness. ready for you, mama. Okay. Yeah, okay. enough of selling yourself. <laughs> enough. I think I, my best advice to her is to leave the shores of Nigeria or go to a place where. Nobody really knows who she is. Mm. Um, I was very, I was a bit like, I think she's joking, Sha, because that picture, I don't know, just like, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Like, are you trying to say that the husband that you have must have the same things as well? No, or is that what you're about. using as your CV to draw the like, husband that's in? that's the only thing left. She has accomplished everything. She has a very successful business. She has all the um, luxury cars. She mm. actually is in a luxury And she couldn't say that with the selfie. And, it had to uh, be with the... With the cars yeah, it. just for you guys to see that. Look, look at all I got. I don't need anything. If you put the worth of those cars together, man, you're made. That's what I'm you saying. That is, so I want to understand. Is the is the car to say, look at what I have, or oh, that that like promoting myself, like selling myself. Look at what I have. This is my CV. I'm beautiful. I have wealth. Come and love me. Or are you saying that don't come if you don't have the same capacity of, you know, no, locks that I have? No, I don't think that's what... Is that what... You, you can't be saying... How can you be <laughs> saying? I don't understand. I'm not understanding you. If that's exactly what you're saying, I don't understand Because anymore. I don't know what the cars because, are doing in there. I don't no, know. No, the cars are just to let you know that, look, I've got everything. Okay. So you, you'll be well taken care of. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so me, come I, to me because yeah. I have all these nice yes, things. Yes, no, I have and everything. And so she's, she's Amy, she's, that, that means you're her target audience then. I'm a target audience. Oh, you don't like... Thank you very much. Can I be your target? <laughs> Shoot me down. Shoot your shots. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think it's 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 not really funny. You see a lot of successful women out there. You know they have everything, and then because of this, a lot of men feel you know intimidated by their status in the society or the wealth or mm. the things they've accomplished, and even the ones that. They will feel like, ah, oh, this guy is good looking. We end up saying yes, ma, to them, and mm. they just get turned off. Like, yeah. come on, where's yeah. your self confidence? Must you do the whole yes, ma mm. thing? So, it's just to the guys out there, man, boost your self confidence. Talk to any lady you like, regardless of how rich or how good looking. You never know who's looking for a husband like Linda KG, like we just found our soul. Oh, my, my, my Myself and my soul. I mean, mates. away from even just um, being intimidated, mm -hmm. I don't think everyone is interested in that type of lifestyle. I think it's one thing to be really successful with business and mm. have a lot of cars that's fine mm. i think the bigger turn off that i've seen is the fame aspect mm, is the true. fact that 
she has such a lavish lifestyle that whoever is going to be there, you even if they have good intentions, it. will be scrutinized. Not every mm. man wants to be scrutinized. Imagine if this girl actually comes out and says, I want to marry this person. They're going to first check his, the, how many strands of hair does he have on his head? How many um, cars does he have? Where does he live? What has he done? Who has he been with? Is he married or single or divorced? Does he have any children? And whatever re response to that, they'll first criticize it. How can you be old like this and not have children? Or if you have children, say, ah, this lady has children. She said, not a lot of people are actually that interested in in really diving into that type of life, which is why I always give, I'm always afraid of fame sometimes because it really um, turns away the normal, decent, peaceful, um, men because they don't want to involve themselves in that but mm. i would still advise that she should broaden her her borders a bit when you start to go to why, other, you why don't you just advise her okay, to look at me if it will be option one okay. how about that okay. but you, are, you need options now to so evaluate and then make your decision isn't mm. it mm -hmm. okay. but i'm the only good one why oh, why let me give her a bad option okay okay Give her coffee. Another. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh my goodness! Sorry, inside joke. Inside joke, guys. Um, and I think for for people like that, we've seen that with a lot of act actresses as well. Like, mm. um, I wait, what's her name? She has a mole on her face. Where she got, mar got married to a foreigner. She got married to a white person. It doesn't have to be a white person, but. You see people going outside of the uh, territory, mm. outside of their like their country, that you can walk into a street and it's normal and you have that normalcy. Mm -hmm. It'll be easy for you to just meet any man and the chances of them having bad intentions like you, that you want their money and you want to be taken care of. What are you of. saying? I, I mean, sorry, that was a mistake. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't say that. That's not true. That's not your intention. In quotes. Anyway, so you know that you you the, there are chances that you wouldn't find people like that because they don't know who you are or your bank account by just looking at you. So you have a fair chance <laughs> at having an honest conversation I'll and finding tell you love. So done. See, instead of you to find a way to come to the table oh in our banana goodness. island mansion, you want to be looking from the window, Abby. <laughs> don't worry, try to spoil my market with Linda Ikeji. Oh but man, goodness. that's how we wrap up today's episode. Big shout out to um, all Kufri. the celebrities we have spoken about. And big shout out to a man like Kufe, our guest, Mike Feli. He, if you don't know Kufe, Kufe is behind the camera right now and is one of the realest. You know, and then um, big shout out to all the camera crew, um, the um, team and crew for putting this together. Big shout out to the production team. And yes, you can tweet at us at Plus TV Africa and you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you will go to my co-anchor, Ife Omai, and the entire production team. Peace and love.